The Chairman, Senate Committee on Information and National Orientation, Senator Suleiman Adokwe, his counterpart in the House of Representatives, represented by the Vice Chairman of the Committee, the Honorable Minister of Information and Culture, Al Hajjalai Mohammed, Chairman Broadcasting Organizations of Nigeria, Mr. John Momo, the Director General, Nigerian Television Authority, the Chairman Pinnacle Communications Limited, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, I would like to welcome you all to this event. We have gathered here in Kaduna for the official commencement of Digital Terrestrial Television, DTT, here in Kaduna State. For me, this is a moment of unique joy and uncommon privilege. We are gathered to co commence the transition from analog to digital broadcasting. When all of us are also celebrating the 100th anniversary of Kaduna. Most people familiar with my work in journalism as a columnist know how proud I am of my identity as an authentic Kaduna man. This is because Kaduna is one of the three cities that I call home. The others being Abuja where I work and Ilorin where I was born. It is very interesting that just two days ago, we also launched a DSO in the Lorian Quara State. But there is something very special about this city and state. This is, after all, the old capital of northern Nigeria. And this is a city of politics, administration, as well as of media. It was therefore natural that Kaduna would be one of the states that we would choose in this first phase of the DSO. To make it even more poignant, the switchover is taking place as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of Kaduna. So we're in the midst of celebration that speak to the best of our lives. And this digital switchover just underlines the mood of celebration. And our compatriots in Kaduna can count themselves very lucky because in this location, Pinnacle Communications Limited have installed the most modern state-of-the-art broadcast facilities to ensure that people in our state get access to the very best of the world of terrestrial television. For that, we must thank Salaki Omolua, who has very exacting standards of performance. And in the near 30 years that I've known this self-effacing gentleman, I can attest to the fact that he has never wavered from those standards. It is equally important to note that the Abuja switchover, which was also done on the platform of Pinnacles Communications Limited, took place exactly a year ago today. So, there are too many heartwarming coincidences associated with the gathering this morning. Two days ago, we inaugurated the digital switch of Enquirer State. And it is testimony to our commitment to the process that 48 hours after the launch in Ilorin, we have all gathered here in Kaduna. I want to re-emphasize what I said in Ilorin just two days ago. Digital broadcasting is going to change the face of television in our country forever. The Nigerian government, through the NBC, is committed to taking advantage of the digital economy to open up accesses for Nigeria's young people to create new content that can help to reinforce patriotic commitment to national development. And as part of the work that we are doing with the DSO process, NBC held content financing workshops in Lagos, Enugu, and Kano. We were very happy to note
that Nigeria's young and creative community are increasingly understanding the importance of the opportunities that the digital process can portend for our future. So let me reiterate that we're deploying two multiplexes of 30 channels for our viewers in Kaduna. These represent local, regional, and national channels. And that is the model that we have adopted for Nigeria's digital switchover. The opportunities associated with this process are enormous. And these opportunities are limitless. We are very sure that as Nigerian content producers increasingly find the metier in the digital era, we we'll begin to see specialized productions in different genres of broadcast programming. This is the reason that the DSO process has also been designed to ensure that 70% of all programs will be Nigerian content. That way we can tap into the rich vein of Nigerian cultures, day-to-day -day life experiences, and all the different themes that define us as a people. This is the sense in which I have always believed that the DSO process is a win-win proposition for all our stakeholders and in the long run for the Nigerian people. As you would discover here in Kaduna State, this is the point of embarkation for the most exciting terrestrial television adventure. We must thank President Buhari who is also a resident of this lovely city and state for his enthusiasm for the digital revolution and his realization that it can offer limitless opportunities for Nigeria's young and very talented. Similarly, I want to appreciate the leadership that Alhaji Lai Mohammed, the Honorable Minister for Information and Culture, has continued to provide for the process over the past two years. I'm delighted to underscore the incredible support that the DSO process and the NBC as the regulatory institution have enjoyed from the National Assembly. I must let you know that in Senator Suleiman Adokwe, Chairman Senate Committee on Information, as well as Honorable Wadabu Mulushagun, his counterpart in the House of Representatives, we have two gentlemen who pull all stops to ensure that the DSO project can roll out with minimum fuss. As a very proud citizen of Kaduna City and State, I want to thank our governor, His Excellency Malam Nasser Arufai, for providing us the ambience that made it easy for Pinnacle Communications Limited to roll out the transmission backbone for the DSO project here in Kaduna. I'm proud to let you know that a digital switchover is a platform of cooperation that brings together our signal distributors, ITS and Pinnacle Communications, set-top box manufacturers, middleware provider, content aggregator and call center, as well as Digitim Nigeria. All of them work together with the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to deliver this historic project. My dear compatriots of Kaduna State, Welcome to the future of terrestrial television and the DSO. Thank you very much for your attention.